Well, I've had uh, interest in the garbage business for uh, quite a number of years, as a matter of fact, uh, for well over 40 years. And the industry makes only small changes. But uh, sometimes things come along that are significant changes. Uh, the uh, advent of the plastic container is one. Uh, dumpster bait provides a way uh, to be more efficient at what we do in the garbage industry and it is uh, innovative. Uh, it is something that is timely, and it's just something that I think will make us a better industry. And it depends on if you are the customer uh, that's having the service provided, uh, or if you are the service provider, and more importantly, if you're the guy behind the wheel in the truck. From the customer's perspective, uh, they want to make sure that the uh, trash is handled in a very efficient way, but it doesn't detract from their property. Uh, so visual attractiveness is important to the customer. On the other hand, the customer doesn't want to spend more than they have to to get the service provided. And that's where the guy behind the wheel and the owner of the waste company uh, comes along. It's very inefficient to put your dumpster inside of a, an enclosure uh, that necessitates having to get out of the truck, open the gate, empty the container, put the container back inside of the enclosure, get out of the truck, shut the gate, and then go away. Uh, while that is pleasing to the eye from the, the customer's perspective, it's very, very inefficient from the service provider's perspective. So, all of us in the business are looking for that slight little edge uh, and that you can save a, a, a half a minute here or a minute there and Dumpster Mate provides that as an alternative without sacrificing the aesthetics to the customer. Well, it, it, it provides a competitive advantage but at, at, at uh, no loss of service. It is, as a matter of fact, it, I think it's a higher level of service. Uh, you can do so many things with plastic enclosures that you can't do with a, a concrete block. Uh, a concrete block is just um, uh, what it is, and, and there's nothing really appealing about that. But with plastic enclosures, you can uh, make them very appealing to the eye, uh, while at the same time, uh, hiding the fact that there's a, a, a waste container behind the gate. One of the uh, things that uh, I was always attentive to in the, in the waste business was uh, the rental aspects of it. People don't, uh, customers don't want to own a container. They don't want the maintenance aggravation. And in this particular case, it's an extension of the container, not only are we talking about the container or receptacle for the waste, but also the enclosure for the waste? So it gives you an added uh, waste stream in the rental because you can actually rent the enclosure uh, because it is relocatable uh, to other locations. All you need is a pad. And uh, so I think uh, it, it, add, it gives you an added revenue stream. The, the, um, the, the question would arise, does dumpster mate meet the uh, specifications that are often dictated by towns through ordinances uh, or counties or homeowners associations or whatever? And they vary all over the country. Uh, the end result is, is that, that they are not the same in each town, in my opinion. Uh, I believe that dumpster mate does in fact meet the if not the letter of the ordinances, at least the spirit of the ordinances. So if there are any modifications to make sure that Dunstan Mate does comply with city ordinances, they are in fact not major uh, and can be done in most cases, I believe, with, with no changes to city ordinances.
I think that, that what has to happen is the dumpster bait will have to hitchhike on, on normal distribution channels that uh, currently exist. Uh, the larger companies, of course, have national buying uh, power and, and have uh, supplier uh, agreements and contracts and alliances that, that are already in place. Uh, I think Dumpster Mate has to, to in fact, uh, hitchhike on, on those relationships uh, and, and to add to them as opposed to being competitive to them. There's something in, in Dumpster Mate for the, the manufacturers of containers. There's certainly uh, some advantages uh, to, of Dumpster Mate to the people who provide service uh, to customers and then there's something in it for customers uh, who uh, want to have the very best service at the lowest possible cost. So all of those established relationships between service providers and customers and uh, those who provide the tools of the trade, so to speak, uh, Dunstan May has to be additive to those relationships and so long as that uh, is the fact, I think Dunstan May will be successful. You know, I, I don't think of, uh, I, I've never known a waste company that, that wanted to be the first to try anything. On the other hand, out of the fear side of it, you certainly don't want to be the last either. Uh, so if I'm uh, uh, the, the CEO of, of either a very large company uh, or I'm the CEO of a very small company, uh, I'm, I'm at a position that I would be willing to give it a try. Uh, and, and I would reserve committing to doing it everywhere uh, uh, for a later date, but uh, Dumpstermate is certainly worth taking a look at. I, I think some uh, comments about the timing is important. Uh, when I first got into business, front loaders were less than $40,000 a piece. Uh, having a corral or an enclosure was really not all that important. The dumpster make product it is a, a thing of its time and what uh, makes it now a timely uh, purchase and something to look at is the advent of trucks themselves, the, the, the vehicles that we use. It would have made no sense even in the 90s uh, to, to probably look at dumpster make uh, when front loaders were uh, basically a hundred thousand dollar vehicle but now with front loaders costing in excess of three hundred thousand dollars and labor being of what it is then dumpster mate is a, a product whose time has come and you certainly have to take a look at two minutes savings on time uh, when you've got a three hundred thousand dollar truck and a highly skilled technician running it. Uh, it is a product whose time has come and I think those who delay make a mistake. I'd take a look at it quite a while.